Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a video <clears throat> in such a long time. Um, I have been meaning to, but I've been super busy at work and I just haven't gotten the chance to. I have quite a few hauls that I just haven't been able to film and last night I put them all away so I don't think I'm ever gonna get around to filming those. Um, but I just wanted to share my holiday melting basket with you guys because I did put it together last night. Um, because I finally just had some time to do that. Um, and it's really a lot of wax, but I want to try and get through a lot of this um, by the end of this month, um, which gives me about two weeks of melting time. Um, sorry, that is my other cat gets FOMO when we close the door. So you're gonna see them walking around and being sassy, so I'm sorry. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and get started because I do have a lot of wax to get through. And okay, guys, oh my gosh. <gasps> uh, I'm sorry. Um, I have a lot of wax to get through and I don't want the video to be ridiculously long. I'm going to try and do this by vendor to the best of my ability. Um, starting with, let's start with teddy bees because I do actually have some new teddy bees to show y'all. That was one of the hauls that I did not end up filming, <clears throat> but really wanted to, but just again, I just didn't get around to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I have here is like half a loaf of Christmas trees and cream and crushed candy canes. This is just like an iconic scent. I got this last year, I believe, or earlier in 2022. I think it was her January pre-order that I got this in. Um, I do want to try and finish this up this year. Um, then I have plain old crushed candy canes. And again, this is from that same pre-order. I do really like this. A lot um, but I like the combination better like most other people as well um, and then another older teddy bees I have here this is from last year it's fall into Christmas it's vanilla pumpkin buttered rum eggnog and butter cookies this is a nice eggnog scent I know I think it was Charity who was saying that she thought it's one of the like, vomit. I don't get that I do find that this is a really pretty eggnog scent. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not sure what's going on with my words. And then in terms of new scents uh, from this ready to ship like a couple of weeks ago, I've already kind of dug into it because I was so excited. The first one is Christmas Macchiato. This is essentially her Christmas trees and cream with espresso. And oh my god, this is amazing. Like this is probably my favorite version of her Christmas trees and cream and this lasted all day like for like and beyond probably but I think I took it out the next morning but it was so strong it was so good I also got a tub of old school Christmas this is fresh pine oh I guess I probably can't read all these out loud but um I'll be here forever this smells so good. It smells like a, like spices and just pine and just Christmas. It's very nice. <clears throat> also got the perfect holiday, which I believe is a BBW dupe. It's really good. It's like a cinnamon and toasted marshmallow combination. Christmas cookies. The iconic Christmas trees and cream, which is amazing. But I am gonna try and work on this before I um, start using that. And then milk cookies and eggnog. So those are all my Teddy Bee's um, holiday scents. I have a couple of scoops um, from Zape. One of them is Red Cup Season. I've used maybe a little less than half of it. This is basically like a peppermint mocha scent. Then I also have Christmas in a cup, which is like, I think like an eggnog coffee scent. 
Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that one, but I do want to try and use it up. And then one more scoop I have from L3. This is eggnog, gingerbread, and sugared spruce. I got this in a D stash, I think. Or maybe I bought it from the website. I don't know. But this smells really weird to me, and I'm not a fan, but I need to try and use that up. Oh my gosh, and I have one more Teddy Bees here. This is gingerbread ice cream cake, which smells amazing. Okay, and then let's do just a couple more out three. So I have this loaf in Don't Cross Dreams and Candy Cane. This is so good. I went through a whole loaf of this last year. Um, so I'm very excited to go through another one. It's one of my favorite candy cane scents of all time. I also have this custom in coconut milk and I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't remember exactly what the scent notes for I want a hippopotamus for Christmas um, is, but I think it's like a cookie or some bakery with a light candy cane scent. And then I mix that with coconut milk this is really good um so i am excited to get through some of that let's do some rose girls so from last year's mario melters i've got have yourself a merry mario christmas this is peppermint mocha cookies and dunk my donut it's not like a huge favorite but i want to try and get through that this year um and then a couple from her most recent ready to ship so I've got gingerbread cookies at Tiffany's. This is really interesting. I think this is really gonna come through on warm. Blizzard on the Star Express. It's like an eggnog and mint scent. Not a favorite. It's a little bit weird um, to my nose at least. So I probably would not get that again. We also have Shy Guy, which is spearmint pine and shaving cream. Um, I have got Mario's Home for the Holidays, which is a really nice Christmas tree scent. Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. This is, again, an iconic blend. I went through so many of these last year, and then I already melted this once throughout my whole house this year. So I'm happy to have that. Probably should have gotten more. And then I have a couple of her, like, Star flake, star flake, snowflake shapes. I don't know why I call this a star flake. This is Christmas Wish and Cookie Land. Um, Christmas Eve and Cookie Land plus salted caramels. I'm really excited about that one. And then the last rose girls I have is Whoville Square, which is like a winter candy apple blend with like a Christmas tree note in it. Next up, I have got two loaves from Swanky. So this one is eggnog, coffee, marshmallow cream cake, and glazed donuts. I wish this was espresso with eggnog. The coffee, it's not skunky, but it's just not my favorite coffee. Um, and then I also have Merry Little Christmas, for which I don't have the scent notes, but it's basically a really nice candy cane peppermint. Um, from Twilight Garden from last year's, like, collection, I just have a couple. North Pole Woods, it was like a really pretty scene, which has kind of broken since then. And then Home for Christmas. Then from Sassy Wax Mats, I have a couple. So Naughty or Nice, which is Winter Wonderland Vanilla Cake Pops, Vanilla Frosting. And it's a really pretty like car with a Christmas tree on top. Then we've got this one, which is Crisp Air and Winterberry. This is really like a fresh Christmas scent. And then this is Orange Buttercream, which is basically like fresh squeezed OJ with a buttercream scent. And then Peppermint Bark. Um, oh, and then I have one more here, which is Gingerbread House. Super cute. These, if you are having trouble with your sassy wax melts and throw, 
you need to melt them in a very hot uh, warmer is what I have found. They do not throw in my Scentsy warmers at all. Um, I have to use like super hot, um, like hot plate warmers to get those to do their thing. Um, let's do some ebony violet. So I just have two, they're not super Christmas specific, but I did want to use some of her wax because I have a whole drawer of it and I just haven't reached for them recently. This is peppermint marshmallow type and sugared balsams. This is really good. It almost smells like not quite like Christmas trees and cream, but it's it's really good. So I'm excited to dig into that. I only have one from Salt Mountain. It's milk and cookies for Sienna. This is from last year. On cold, I'm not getting any scent from it, so I'm hoping that on warm it comes alive. Um, from the Melted Moose, I've got Slay All Day, which is really nice, like outdoorsy scent. And I also have Cindy Lou, which I'm also not getting much of on cold, so I'm hoping on warm it uh, comes alive. From Britta's, I just have one thing from her, like one of her boxes last year. This is Kim's Special Eggnog, which is eggnog and roasted pine cones. This is phenomenal. I'm very excited to use that. From Empire Alchemy, I have one in Father Christmas. I don't have the notes for this, but it smells like tree to me in the best ways possible. I'm very excited. And then from Ava's Country Cupboard, I also have a couple. I have Mrs. Claus. I have no idea what that is. And then I have gingerbread applesauce, which smells really good. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I've got Santa's Eggnog Cookies. I have this going throughout my entire house right now. I just put it in. Um, so right now I don't smell anything but hopefully soon I start to get something. I also have Christmas Wish Zucchini which I haven't melted yet and then I have the iconic Christmas at Santa's. I melted this last night. It was so good. It's a very unique blend. I wonder, I'm curious to know if it's like a single scent oil because that's what it kind of smells like or if it is a house blend. I have no idea. We are actually almost reaching the end. I'm gonna do super tarts next. The first uh, thing I have is this band bag in Yippie Kaye. This is one of my all time favorite scents. I love that. Um, I have three scent shots from her advent from last year. Um, she has since renamed these. I don't remember what they are. This is peppermint, amber, musk, birch, plum, and citrus. This one is pink cranberries with cream and waffle cone. And then this one is lagoon waters, pineapple, rain, white currant, and cucumber lime. And then I have a bunch of her Christmas themed scents. So I've got skipping Christmas, meet me, frosty, Christmas express, Prancer, Bishop, and these are all like peppermint, eggnog, just really good holiday scents, I believe. Um, Elf, and Pumpkin King, which I did melt in my bedroom last night, and this was so nice. I have come to learn that I love herbal lavenders and um, like French lavender. I don't like uh, her, um, like her regular lavender. I don't know, like the one that's in most of her scents. This is the lavender that I really like. Okay, 
And then the last blender I have, I'm gonna just like run through it super quickly. It's Lurid Apothecary. Just a bunch of snap bars from her last year's holiday collection. So I've got Winter Mocha, which I have in like her Lurid Brick, I think it's called. Christmas Vacation, Snowball Fight. This is just a hot mess of a pile here. Holiday Cheer, Christmas Bake Off, Whoville and Santa's workshop. Unfortunately, on cold, I'm like barely getting anything. So I'm just hoping that on warm, it's, it like smells and I can at least smell something even if it's in, a, in my, just my bedroom. But we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, so that is it. I'm gonna zoom out just a smidge. Um, for my holiday basket that I'm trying to finish in two weeks. Will I actually get through all of this in two weeks? I highly doubt it, but um, I do want to try and at least make a dent. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!